All right, guys and girls, welcome back to another episode. And I actually had a funny feeling that this would happen as well. Like, over, I mean, obviously, 2020, still not finished yet. Still a lot more stuff going on in 2020. And I told you, guys and girls, they should have banned shit like this in the first place. I knew something like this was going to happen. And it would get out of hand. Some kids would probably get hold of something. And it's like really, really the thing we should be looking out for. We should be getting the parents to be looking after the kids. Wondering what the hell they're doing with their kids in the first place. Or what their kids are getting up to in the first place. Anyway, so before we get into this, right. Just going to give you the title. It says on the BBC about it. And I'll let you guys and girls decide what your thoughts about it. Um, so basically, Highgate School pupils ill after eating cannabis laced sweets. All right, this is uh, there's a little article about it. A London ambulance service sent five ambulances, ambulances, five ambulances to the school. Right, and that's five ambulances that they could have used for an emergency. Uh, and not actually, and not actually, if they'd actually banned the substances and all that, what we call cannabis from the first place, and not actually get it into kids' hands in the flipping first place, or edibles, or whatever you want to call them. Anyway, so 13 children at a North London school were taken to the hospital when they fell ill after eating what they believed were sweets. The pupils from uh, La Santi or Sainty Union Catholic School, Highgate, were taken by ambulance to hospital for treatment just after midday. Uh, police said the sweets were believed to contain tetra or that drocannabinol THC, an active ingredient of cannabis. Investigations are underway. To establish the quantity in each suite, no one is believed to be seriously unwell, and the children well unwell, and it says they've been taken ill, so they're ill, but they're not like sort of seriously ill and all that. And the children's parents have been informed about it. Uh, no arrests have been made, but inquiries have begun to establish what happened. The school, which is uh, a girls. Roman Catholic secondary has not been evacuated as well. They should have evacuated the place just in case there's more in there and stuff. Uh, I mean, who, who the hell is going to get hold of those things if they think it's a sweet, it's like sweets or candy for kids? A spokes, uh, spokesman for the school said the students became ill after eating what they believed were sweets. The contents of what the students ate and how they came into possession of them in being uh, investigated by the police. We have made parents aware of this incident. So they're making parents aware of this incident. Um, and I actually had a funny thing at some point in the future, something like this would absolutely get out of hand. And some, I'll tell you what, the government needs to do something about this. They need to stop this happening in schools. I mean, for you know, it could have been some like, um, people at the school gates waiting for the kids and then offering them sweets and saying, do you want a bag of sweets? And then they end up eating them thinking it's sweets or something. Or it could be anything. I mean, they definitely need to do an investigation in that entire area in London. Um, but what can you do? What can you do? I mean, obviously, at the end of the day, um, children are children. But it's you adults and parents out there that should be watching out for your kids in the first place. So you need to start doing more work to stop this and prevent this from happening by actually banning this stuff in the first place or not letting your kids have it in the first place and not just put them out of the way or something. Maybe the parents accidentally gave it to the kids and stuff by mistake. I won't want to say it was a mistake and all that. Well, we don't know, do we? We don't know the facts yet. Hopefully there's more about this, uh, like, news within the next few days. Uh, but usually they have this like sort of articles and then they usually disappear after a while. 
But what I'm going to be doing is I will copy this and I'll paste this in the comment section below. And you guys and girls, let us know what you guys and girls think. Do you think cannabis is all right for kids and all that? Do you think we should be giving kids cannabis? Because I don't bloody think so. It's a drug at the end of the day. You could say, oh, it's like caffeine and all that. Actually, it's more worse than caffeine, to be honest. Um, also, I mean, Coca-Cola um, is kind of worse as well. But I don't know. It's like anything. Anything's too bad in moderation. But obviously, with cannabis for kids, that is definitely a no-no. And I think, to be honest, parents should be more sort of concerned of the stuff that's going on in schools nowadays. Could be anything going on in schools nowadays. Just be flipping careful. But anyway, guys and girls, if you enjoyed this episode, do like, favorite, share, comment, subscribe. I'll be doing some more videos on this when we get some more news on it, if there is any more news on it. Uh, but I'm going to be doing different articles like... Um, over them and then up uh, over all the different articles different news articles and all that and i would just put them in the description below and in the comment section so you guys and girls have your debate and talk amongst yourself cheers all watch, uh, for watching stay safe but don't forget to like and subscribe for more to come this way forward